What is up everybody, it's Coaster Pete from Club Coaster, coming back here with another episode here, another time lapse of Oak Point. That, that's right, Oak Point Part 12. So, in this time lapse, we'll be working on a Rocket Mountain Construction Hybrid Coaster. That's right, a, Rocket Mountain, a ground up Rocket Mountain Construction Hybrid Coaster. That's right, definitely. Um. So basically, in, in this like, it will also be another groundbreaking ride. Once again, it will be it will be another groundbreaking and groundbreaking project here. It'll, it will be another groundbreaking coaster, another groundbreaking attraction, another groundbreaking project at Oak Point. Absolutely. And also, yeah, definitely. So, basically, by the way, here we in this time lapse we'll be working on this the loading platform and as well as the layout as well and also um <coughs> and also if, like for the for the transfer table or like for the transfer table or storage for the transfer t for the transfer track we also like for the storage it's gonna base it's gonna be um it's gonna be the in the like once a train exits the station like um it's not gonna be in the brake run it's gonna be it's gonna be right when you right, right when the train leaves the station. So, well, by the way, here like I'm trying to make like what I'm trying to do is like I'm trying to make a coaster like um trying to make a rocket bar construction hybrid coaster inspired like kind of wanted to make something and kind of inspired by Steel Vengeance, like kind of inspired partially inspired by Steel Vengeance in a way, like you know um <coughs> like I did like make um. I did make like the first half of I did like make um the pre-lift section. Kinda went for like um a pre-lift section, like very inspired by Steel Vengeance. But um it's also except it's like um it's like a mirrored image. It's like the mirrored image of the pre-lift section of Steel Vengeance. <laughs> and also and yeah. And also for like the entire layout, for for layout wise, the entire layout. I kind of wanted to inspired by, <coughs> to inspired off by, st such as like inspired off by Steel Vengeance, at, at Cedar Point, Goliath, at Six Flags Great America, um, something like, maybe a little bit of like Wicked Cyclone kind of, and a little bit of um, but mainly inspired by. St but mainly inspired by Steel Vengeance and Goliath at Six Flags Great But mainly inspired by Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point and Goliath at Six Flags Great America. Yeah, um kind of. And maybe a little bit off inspired by Wicked Cyclone, kind of. Yeah, definitely. And and a little bit inspired by Twisted Timbers, but we don't we don't know. But like so by the way, but this is mostly inspired off by Steel Vengeance. Mostly inspired by Steel Vengeance. So also over here, um, we'll be working on. Well, it definitely this coaster is a groundbreaking co project here. Definitely, of course it is. Um, 230 feet tall. This coaster right here is 230 feet tall. Has a 230 foot lift hill. And also, it actually like, then it reaches like, and also, kind of wanted to go for like um, a first drop like Goliath, Six Flags Good America, like, well, kind of wanted to make something like, well, by the way, um, like it'll have a big drop, a big vert, big drop into an underground tunnel, like um. It's something more unique about this hybrid coaster. Like, um, I know, like, there's already a topper track model doing that. Like, having, that has an underground tunnel, such as Goliath at Six Flags Good America, but, um, <clears throat> but this could be, like, an Ibox. So, we, could this could, but well, this coaster right here could be an Ibox coaster. A rock rock construction Ibox hybrid coaster. An Ibox coaster that, or an Iron Horse coaster that hits an underground tunnel. 
it like um, goes through an underground tunnel in the first drop. And also over here, um, but I didn't want to copy Steel Vengeance. Didn't want to copy off Steel Vengeance. Like first off, like I did like um, I did play around with like edit the layout quite a bit in this time lapse. I did edit the layout quite a bit. <laughs> so by the way, um. But I did want to inspire it mostly off of Steel Vengeance, but not copy Steel Vengeance. <laughs> but not to copy Steel Vengeance. So, by the way, um, of course, like, the first drop of, of this coaster is inspired off by Goliath the Six Flags of Good America because, um, it does, like, have, like, a drop into an under- it does, like, um, drop into an underground tunnel, dive into an underground tunnel an underground tunnel but um that's only just the first drop though but this coaster this coaster's first drop is a 90 degree drop this hybrid coaster's first drop is a 90 degree drop is at a 90 degree angle <coughs> yeah also over here then um <laughs> my plan on here like my plan for this layout is to get a lot of air time in and and also some pretty unique elements as well. Some pretty unique intense elements as well. So over here I did like um a huge airtime, a big airtime hill. Like and also I made like this outer banked air outward banked airtime hill as well. And I did want to inspire it off by Steel Vengeance a little bit. But um but I did like edit it like this was originally supposed to be um Okay, so here's here's the main thing. This was originally supposed to be um in this time lapse. I know like you guys are gonna think that I worked like this is gonna be um some kind of like roll, some kind of like um some kind of like um double roll, like um double zero G roll kind of like um kind of like a double roll into um but instead, like, um, oh, you know what, like, this was off-camera where I edited it to, where I turned it into, um, a double up, and, like, an airtime pop into a wave turn. That's what I did, like, off-camera. But over here, I did some kind of, like, um, another, like, zero G roll, and then into, um, like, a wave turn, kind of, kind of like a wave turn, and then into, um, kind of, then into some kind of stall, then into a stall over here to an upside down hanging stall over here, then to inverting stall over here, and then to a double down, and then into, um, then into another time hill. So the, this coaster does have quite a lot of head, quite some head choppers over here. It does have quite a, a few head chopper moments. And also over here, I kind of did like something unique, like, um, kind of like an outward, like, um, like kind of like an outward banked air time hill, then into like um quickly transitioning to another turn, then to um an eject another ejector hill, another ejector air time hill, and then seriously into and then into it's kind of like a double up kind of like um <clears throat> and then into, it does have a mid course break run though, but um just into a mid-course break run. Like, the reason why I kind of wanted to add a, I wanted to add a mid-course break run is because I wanted to add three trains in this coaster. I wanted this coaster to be able to operate three trains, uh, to operate three trains enough, you know, like, um, to operate three trains good enough, you know? But by the way, um... I didn't know for a fact that I, um... Then, like, the second half of the ride is, like... I did do a mid-course break run, though, but... What's different from Steel Vengeance was that, um... Instead of just basically just simple, like, um... To, like, um... An ejector drop, instead... I did something more unique after a mid-course break run, like, um... As you see right here, like a barrel roll drop, basically, like... A twisted barrel roll drop. Like a barrel roll drop, kind of like. Very, like, pretty much like twisted, like inspired by twisted timbers. But, um. But also, um. Then, like, um. 
at the second half of the ride, the second half of the ride for the mid-course break run, it's literally completely like, um, highly intense, very intense, like, um, it's kind of like tight hills and tight banks and turns and tight rolls, like, um, literally kind of, literally wicked cyclone and still vengeance inspired, kind of, yeah. But basically, um, this does feature, um, this does feature at least five inversions. It does feature five inversions, though. Did end up turning out to have five inversions once after it got rid of the, the two rolls and turned it to a double up and into a double up and into a wave turn. But, um, yeah, by the way, um, this coaster is nearly a really good two minutes long, like a decent two and a half minutes long, and also, it also has, um, it also had quite a bit of, it's two and a half minutes long, and also, it reaches a top speed of 86 miles per hour at the bottom of the first drop in the underground tunnel. The bottom of the first drop. Yeah, and I don't really know, I can't really think for a name of it yet. I don't think, I can't really think for a specific name of this coaster yet, but, um, I did want to name it, um, I kind of wanted to think of some kind of like westerny theme or like um something like a Spanish theme or like kind of want to theme to like Stampede Runner. I'm not sure yet, but um we don't know. But um well, by the way, um did get at least a really like a really good excitement rating, like um at least an eight excitement rating, and yeah, definitely also um but this definitely is like. I did try to make this in a, a well above average RMC, but um, but like seriously, like um, but it's really long this coaster, like it's probably the longest ever hybrid coaster, the world's longest hybrid coaster, but um, whoops, all to say in this time lapse, and, and please like and comment and subscribe for more, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.